Hello YouTube, it's January 3rd, 2011 and um, I'm here to post a new video titled Peak Oil and Population. So before we talk about how peak oil and population are related, we need to talk about population on its own. And for any of you out there that don't know how many people are on the planet, the number is 7 billion. And 7 billion is a really hard number to comprehend because, like most people, you're not really used to dealing in billions of anything. Um, I know I'm not, and um, when I hear that number, it, it's really difficult for me to conceptualize how many people that is. Um, so I was thinking yesterday how I would... Uh, post a video about world population and how I can make that number tangible for people. And I came up with a little hypothetical scenario. And it goes a little bit like this. Um, tomorrow, the world is invaded by aliens. And the head alien goes to our president and says, Mr. Mr. President, um, we're taking over the planet. And we're going to eliminate one million people per day. And the president kind of looks at him and, and says, oh my God, you know, please don't do it. No, please, anything but that. And the head alien says, no, we really need to do it. Um, we need to get rid of people, but we want to do it slowly. And if you put up a fight, we're going to uh, blow up the planet. So the president unwillingly uh, allows the aliens to round up a million people a day and essentially exterminate them. And um, uh, the first day of the exterminations, uh, everybody is in complete shock. I mean, uh, there's people just panicking and, and running around and, oh my God, this is terrible, this is terrible, and and, and this is, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna wipe us out, they're gonna get rid of everybody. And um, so, you know, it, it starts. And let's pretend that a child is born on the first day of the, of the um, extermination and a brand new baby. Um, and, and he's born that, that first day a million people are wiped out. Do you know how old the child would be before he would see the last person wiped out? He would be 19.2 years old, which means that from the time the baby was born to the time he reached 19.2 years of age, that's when the last person would be exterminated. So it would take the aliens 19.2 years to get rid of everybody. And this is even considering that the 80 million people that are born to the planet every year were never born. This is considering zero population growth. So um, that's my little example for how many people are on the planet and I hope that helps put into perspective how many people, seven billion people, really is. And the thing is with these seven billion people, they all require, myself included, energy to survive. We require energy in the form of heat and shelter and food and medicine and countless other different varieties to um, keep, keep people alive. And the thing is, since 80 million people are being added to the planet every year on top of the 7 billion people that are already here, the planet requires more and more net energy to supply these people with the energy that's needed for their survival. Now, the problem with peak oil is that there's going to be less and less net energy available to all these people that are here now and all the people that are coming onto the planet on a daily basis. And the thing is, eventually, the population will most likely crash uh, tremendously when the amount of 
net energy available to these people starts to decline because in the beginning for the last 200 years the amount of energy and population have gone up in tandem which means that every year there was more and more people but there was more and more energy to supply these people with the ability to survive in the future that is not going to be the case and sooner or later as the amount of energy declines the population will also have to decline now if you're like most people this scenario is completely unacceptable and you would scream at the top of your lungs john what do we have to do to stop this from happening this is this is just too bad and i don't want it to happen and from my understanding there are two things that can be done to prevent this population crash which is going to run up against peak oil like two freight trains the first one is that tomorrow everybody throughout the world needs to wake up and decide that they want to live a lower energy lifestyle which means that they want to make do without their stakes and escalades and 5,000 square foot homes and uh, all the other amenities which uh, people at least people that are well off uh, middle class and up uh, have enjoyed for for so long so everybody basically has to uh, wake up and say you know I want a lower energy lifestyle and um, I don't want to live as well as my parents and um, I want to make do with less now you might call me cynical, but the chances of this happening are absolutely zilch and zero. Nobody is going to wake up tomorrow and say, I want less. And the proof is in the pudding when you look at China and India and the Middle East and Latin America. Uh, these are populations which are, which are thriving for improvement. They are thriving for cars and amenities like washing machines and dryers and dishwashers and SUVs and computers. These are populations that are on the upward trend. And this has been very sustainable. I shouldn't say sustainable. This has been possible because we've been living off our energy surplus in the form of fossil fuels. So this scenario has worked and is going to work for a little bit longer, but eventually will not work much longer. So um, scenario one or, or possibility one or, um, or a solution one is, is pretty much uh, off the table in, in, my, uh, in my estimation. The second scenario is... Um, a lot of people have to fall off the, the face of the planet tomorrow. I mean, we just really um, need to, and this is, uh, and this is considering we want to continue with the consumption levels that we have now. Uh, a lot of people have to um, leave the game. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it that way. A lot of people have to leave the game, and uh, if there's less people um, playing uh, there's going to be more for everybody else and that's not likely to happen either so the two scenarios which would uh, kind of save our butts are are not going to not going to work and we're going to have to deal with the consequences that's it thank you